All right, I'm here at Pac-12 Media Day with DNVR athlete and Buffs linebacker. Buffs All-American linebacker, I should say, Nate Landon. Sure. How's it going? It's going great. Uh, it's been a busy morning. I'm um, excited yeah. to be here. You know, Dimitri's first time here. I've been here before, so um, I kind of knew what to expect. But uh, it's been a good time so far. Is it, is it more or less fun um, than the first time? Different hotel, different scene, different setting. Yeah. Um, uh, I personally like the first hotel better. It's a little it's bigger, a yep. little more room. Um, you know, but I mean, same concept here, same same things going on. So yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Is it like mostly the same questions every year, or do they change at all? Um, the first time I came, it was more about the 150th anniversary. Those are the kind of oh, questions okay. we got. Yep. And so this year they're kind of talking about, um, you know, what's special back about the Pac-12 and uh -huh. more conference questions okay. this year. Yeah. What's your answer to that? What is special about the Pac-12? Um, I usually answer it with, um, you know, Pac-12 does a great job combining academics with athletics, uh -huh. and we got a lot of prestigious universities, and, you know, we got everything from schools in California to the beach schools, and then you got schools in Arizona where you got different climate stuff, then you got mountain schools like CU and then uh, Washington schools. So I think, like, there's, there's somewhere uh, for everyone in the Pac-12. Yeah. Which I think is unique. I feel like that's uh, too many questions before I ask you about your Achilles. It's all good. It is good? Yeah. No, my, you, can, you can ask Mike about my Achilles, no how's, problem. Uh, how, how is your Achilles? It's great, dude. I feel amazing. Um, you're not the only one to ask that question, by I the way. Like gonna, um, but yeah, rehab's going well. Um, you know, the, the, the training staff has got me right. And even having Coach Turley in there now as a new strength coach, and yeah. um, he's taking a lead in my rehab. And, um, I trust him completely, and I, I feel great. I've been I've been working out with the team, and really, um, yeah, it's been a great summer. How far are you from like being full speed again? Um, so I, I've been been tracked on my GPS and everything, and um, you know I feel 100. percent They uh -huh. might not tell you that I, I'm probably 95 <laughs> percent just because they want to keep me back a little mm -hmm. bit and protect me from myself. But um, I should be my helmet should be on first day of camp. Wow. Yeah. That's exciting. That that's not. A very long recovery. Oh uh, no, it's been oh, it's December fifteenth, I think, was my surgery. So yeah, say eight months maybe. Eight Is months that ago. what they expected in the beginning, like when this process started? Yeah. Um, so there's been a new. It's been a new type of surgery that just came out in the last year, year and a half. Huh. Um, less invasive, less scar tissue that you have to break down. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was told either anywhere from seven to eight months to nine to ten to even over a year, um, but. Ugh. It's different from each person, you know. People respond differently to rehab and yeah. and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's been going well. I saw that there was like a, I think it was a Russian gymnast, and they they won gold, and he was like the key three guy months. or something. Yeah, he, yeah, and he yeah, came back in like out. three months. It was yeah, three months ago he had the surgery. Yeah, that's crazy to me because I was I was barely going upstairs at at three months. So <laughs> all props to him. Oh, wow. So so you decided to come back for one more year. Yep. Uh, obviously, I think people picked up on that. Uh, how much was the Achilles a factor in that decision? Oh, it was everything. I mean, I bet, yeah. Yeah. So, um, everything at first, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, again, I have a healthy season, and I, I finished that Utah game and um, make a decision on the bowl game or whatever. But um, yeah, after that, I'm I'm going to the league, given that I'm healthy. But um, tearing the Achilles, you know, it happened. It was unfortunate in that moment, and. Um, but I've come to terms with it, and I've accepted it. And you know, it may be a blessing in disguise. We'll see. We'll see what all comes out from it. It may be a positive thing um, in the end. So, um, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna you know, use it as a shortcoming. I'm gonna use it as something that I can step step on and yeah. um, use to as my advantage. So uh, the defense is gonna change a bit this year. Tyson Summers is gone, but beyond being the uh, defensive coordinator, he was also your position coach last year. Yeah. You've got a new position coach this year. Yeah. What's that transition like for somebody like you who's, who's been around for a while and obviously you kind of know your stuff when it comes to playing linebacker? Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a transition, but not something I'm used to, right? This is my, mm -hmm. what's well, going to be my third DC and third position coach. Yeah. Maybe even fourth, um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's something I'm used to and, and it's – it's about the game. It's about football, and um, I think that kind of adds a certain aspect to my game of being able to adapt in those situations and mm -hmm. learn a new defense and, and be able to lead lead another defense. Um, uh, but you know, being an older guy with with that experience, I, I think I think it should be fine, and um, I'm excited to play under these coaches. I, I, I love Coach Smith, my new position coach, and and I'm, yeah. I'm sure Coach Wilson will do a great job um, at DC. Yeah, I've seen. I've, I've I don't think I met mark smith yet 
I, I definitely have it in person, but I've seen him on Twitter a lot. Yeah. And he is hilarious. Yeah, I know. He's a great guy. Yeah. Um, great family, too. And, um, you know, he puts us, our interests first. And um, he's all about he's all about football. And he's all, he's all in it. And uh, he's just a great guy. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess Chris Wilson won't call it a 3-4. He says it's, like, versatile. But it does seem like it's probably going to be pretty similar. There's going to yeah. be another inside linebacker next to you. For sure. Akil Jones is gone. Mm-hmm. What's it like having kind of like a revolving door? I guess you haven't been practicing much, but but when that is going on next to you, trying to build chemistry with somebody. Yeah, for sure. I mean, me, me and Akil had great chemistry. I also played with Van Deest a while yep. too, so um, you know I'm used to, I'm used to that rotation. But I think it all just comes down to trust, and, and I mean I trust those guys' preparation and mm-hmm. throughout camp and throughout you know that week coming up to the game, um, they'll be with me, working with me, and. Yep. So, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about who I'll mesh with and who's played next to me. I think, uh, I think wh- whoever is meant to play that week will play that week. So, um, and they'll play great. I mean, I trust. I, I'll trust every, anybody who plays next to me for sure. All right. Uh, before I let you go, one name on the defense, somebody who's going to surprise us this year. Um, I think Gonzo. I think Gonzo. Okay. I mean, he's got. Everybody knows his potential, but I think he's going to have. Um, Probably the craziest here in the Pac-12 out of anybody. Really? Yeah. So you have him, you have Makai back there. We have Makai. Safeties are solid. I yeah. mean, the defense looks on paper like it should be pretty good, right? That must be exciting for you, knowing yeah. the potential that's out there. Especially when you have Jarek and everything going on offense, too. For sure. I think, I think. I mean, I don't want to even say it's not a surprise to us, but I think we'll surprise a lot of people yeah. um, like we always do. So um, I'm excited for the year coming up. Pick fifth in the Pac-12 South. You think that was where you should be? Uh, no comment on that. No comment. Awesome. We'll leave it at that. Awesome. Thanks, yes, Nate. Sir. Thanks, Nate. Have fun with uh, all your interviews. Hopefully you get asked some new questions. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah.